next year, is it the Cowboys? Is it their year? I can answer that after free agency and after the uh, after the draft. <laughs> Finally, <laughs> an intelligent Cowboys fan. See. Before I did, I, and I tried to set you up. I tried to set you up. <laughs> nah, I know where you're going. The Dallas Cowboys have not won a Super Bowl since 1995. It, there's, there's no question that Jerry Jones has been in the way at times in them succeeding and trying to get to that Super Bowl, that elusive Super Bowl. A lot of Cowboys fans out there always say, "Hey, it's next year. We're gonna win it next year." But it's been next year for the last 26 years in a row. I think something's got to change. We got our man Ryan Kendrick here, a lifelong Cowboy fan, who's talking and, and actually making some sense on what the Cowboys can and need to do to be successful. Let's get into this. All right, Ryan, appreciate you joining us on the podcast today, man. Thanks for, for jumping in. Sure. Uh, tell us a little bit about, you know, you, how did you become one of those dreadful, and I mean <laughs> dreadful, Cowboys fans? Let, let, let everybody know. I don't know where the dreadful part. I don't feel like I'm like everybody else. I feel like I'm pretty reasonable. Um, I like them. Obviously, oh, die hard. Okay. Die hard, as you can see. But at the same time, I feel like I'm not the, oh, it's our year every year. You know, the the saying or what okay. happened. Okay. I don't know. I think it's just as long as I can remember, like, understanding, really understanding what football was and, like, all that. I just... They were always on TV. That's what I saw. And right. I just step, I step, started rolling. I got yeah. you. I got you. Well, at least you're civilized. You know, sure. you're a civilized cowboy fan that that understands what's going on. Yeah. Not okay. every year's our year, you know, and everything that's that cowboys do is the great. See, I, I can appreciate that. I yeah. Appreciate I feel like that. once people have a conversation and they understand, hey, he's not really like all the ones you see online. I'm, I I'm got you. Level, well, level. for me, it's tough. I live here in Dallas. Oh. So, yeah, it's, it's tough. I, I deal with it every day, man. Every <laughs> single day. Nuts. Just nuts. Oh, yeah. So they're, they're wild down there. I hear you. Let's dig in a little bit here. So obviously the first conversation, let's talk about what with Dak. What are the Cowboys going to do with Dak? Number one, if anything, because he's not going anywhere. I mean, his contract's not going to allow that, at least for a few years anyway. Uh, but what is going on? Will the, the coordinator change help? But what are the Cowboys going to do with Dak? I'm not sure. Well, I, well, I will say that it should help because – they had Kellen Moore, and that was more of like a peer to him. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, so I mm -hmm. think him actually having to report directly to McCarthy probably be a little bit different. I think Dak probably had more say because you know Kellen and him are like the same age, and he, he probably right. can't talk. He probably can't talk to McCarthy the same way he talks to Kellen. And I, I feel like you. a lot of he had a lot of control at the line of script at the line of scrimmage and honestly i'd pay good money to see what was called versus what he changed it to yeah that's a good you notice point that at the line of scrimmage he does a lot of checks and a lot of this and a lot of that so i wonder what was actually a good play versus what he checked into but a lot of it is i also believe like we've won in spite of Kellen Moore at the same time right <laughs> so there's like a twofold to that i got gotcha. you uh, um i think they end up extending him that way we could probably put some more pieces around him um, like just because you got paid doesn't necessarily mean you're turning to Pat Mahomes because you got a huge contract. Like even Correct. Pat Mahomes is still they're loaded. Uh, Jalen Hurts isn't there yet contract wise, but the Eagles are loaded. So I feel like regardless, you got to put you got to put talent around the man. So hopefully Absolutely. they uh, they uh, figure that out this off season because they got rid of Coop, but CD turned into Cooper, but Michael Gallup didn't turn into CD. So there was a no. huge open gap of talent no. and wide receivers so that we never never got right so. well and part of it is you're de they were dependent on a guy to come back from an acl injury that they got hurt near the end of december and you were counting on him coming back and being 100 percent, which that wasn't that, that i mean that wasn't it's even not realistic real. it's not real for something like that to happen they're right i don't even know why they thought that and <laughs> then to turn around and look they got to the formula for Dak being successful has always been you got to run the ball first. Absolutely. He can't throw it 45 times a game and you win. That ain't happening with this guy. No. And I, and for me, I don't know why you get away from it, but I love the point that you made. What actually got called 
And what did he check to? Because was Dak checking to these pass plays? You know, when they were supposed to be running the ball? We don't know that. So I love that approach. But I love that question. Like, I know he's got supreme confidence in himself. But at the same sure. time, I feel like when he came back from injury, maybe it could have been we went, what, 4-1 and one with Cooper Rush? But the right. offensive numbers were low. Like, they were bottom of the league. Like, we were winning games, but it wasn't really because of Cooper Rush. But right. at the same time, I feel like when he came back, he started pressing a lot. Absolutely. Um, like listen to the noise. Yeah. I mean, granted, like some of the picks weren't his fault, but at the same time, a lot of them picks were. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> Correct. I know every pick is never a quarterback's fault, but a lot of them. Yeah. Were a lot of fault. them were like, what are you doing? Yeah. Like the one he threw versus uh, Sam Fran, like he, he had, he did not see the corner. He like damn near hit him in the chest. Like it was like on third down yeah. and we were uh, driving to go take the lead. And like, he damn near yes. hit the corner right in the chest. I was like, come on, yeah. man. I'm like, yeah, it's just bad passes. Now, the first one in that game, and we're talking about the playoff game. Yeah, right. It, I mean, it was a horrible route by by um, Gallup. Oh, my God. What? Yes, by Gallup. Gallup. Horrible route. You were in a comeback and, and just kind of stopped. He didn't come back. It lazy, about as lazy as a route as you could be. Even then. You can still say, well, Dak, you threw the ball an hour late on that pass, right, man. Right, I'm right, like, right. Oh, my goodness. It's just so he's got to be better. He, he's just got to be better. Um, and hopefully and then, the coaching staff allows that, which I think at the same time, he'll turn change. around and throw like the 50 yard bomb down the sideline to CD. That's like, perfect. Come on. You can do right. this. You like can it's do in it. You. It's in you. I've seen it. It's so. just the inconsistencies are, are the what kills mark. Cowboy fans with that. It's <laughs> just the, so much inconsistent. But I think, and this kind of leads me into the next question, is the running game's got to be a factor. What are the Cowboys going to do at the running back position, man? I think I think what they have to do, obviously, tagging Tony Pollard is priority number one. Absolutely. Um, Ezekiel has got to take a pay cut. You can't have... Huge. You can't – I think he's due, what, like $13 million next year? Yeah, he, they're not no. paying him that. Not yeah, he's got to take a huge pay cut, and I don't think he's going to get anywhere near that on the open market. So I think he Nowhere probably, near it. He would be wise to take a pay cut. Um, so, yeah, that'd be that'd be what I would do. If not, everybody – I mean, the internet is talking B. John Robinson, but, I mean, I don't see him making it to 26. But ha if he did, I'm sprinting up to the podium to turn that card in. <laughs> I mean – I, I mean, if I'm the Cowboys, though, I don't I don't think you can do that. I don't yeah, think you can you draft a running back. First off, Zeke is finished. Let's just call it with it. Let's start here. Zeke is done. He can be serviceable at league minimum because he's not going just like you said, he ain't going out on the market and making anything more than what the league minimum is. That That's not going to happen. I Pollard, think, you got to tag. Oh, go ahead, I go think ahead. he's good for what we need him to do because Pollard's not going to, he, he's not as good when he's got 25, 30 carries. Like Absolutely. what makes, what makes Pollard electric is when he's in that 12 to 15 range and he can break the big one, but like, yes. he's not really great in short yarder situations. So like how we use them and, you know, platoon them is perfect, but yeah, hundred percent. Zeke's not the league guy. He ain't been like the lead dog type back in, going on two yeah. years now so i mean he has no more explosiveness he just doesn't i mean his legs are just finished it's what happens to running backs man it just it is what it is first you know unless years, you're adrian peterson <laughs> yeah you first know, five and years they, they were giving him 320 touches something insane so like yeah i they mean ran him just, into the ground they run him into the ground and that's what everybody does man they run you into the ground and they go get another one which and that's what they're going to do I mean, but I don't know that you have to draft the guy in the first round because the Cowboys got some other needs, man, uh, versus Talk running it. back. I think they got to get better on the offensive line. That's first. We need but a left guard. also they need, yeah, they need a left guard unless they're going to take Tyron Smith as a left guard, which I don't think they're going to do because he, you saw him struggle on the right side last year. He couldn't play right tackle. He's a left tackle. And if you don't think, first of all, he's got to take a pay cut. That, yeah, that's the first that's thing. He's got to yeah, take a pay cut. I guarantee I that's one of so the things they do. For, yeah, for him to stay, he's got to take a pay cut. What's but it? if he's not willing to do that, I, I, I think it might be time that they let him go. I, I, I hate saying that because he's really, really good. That cat hit 17 point, mil, though. <sighs> yeah, man, you got to take a pay cut. And he's always hurt. 
Yeah, he, he didn't play. I, mean, the, I don't think he's played. Hurt. I don't think he's played a full season, and just off the top of my head, since like 2016, maybe. Yeah, man, he's 17. always hurt. I mean, and, and you know, I know it's a cliche, but your body will tell you when it's time, and maybe it's just time for him to just hang it up. He's getting. There. I mean, last year you're just running, and you take four steps in training camp, and all of a sudden. <sighs> Your hamstring or your quadricep just rips off the bone. I mean, what are we doing? That's one like of the at some point, things I've it, ever it's seen. just <laughs> yeah. I'm like, come on now. So hopefully, you know, he can play again. I just, I, he's got to take a pay cut for for it to work. And if he's willing to do that, maybe you play him at left guard. I don't think he's a left guard. I think you still I, keep him at tackle. Personally, personally, I would play him back at left tackle. Tyler Smith is still young enough. Yeah, he maneuver. He's only twenty one. That's right. And, uh, I would I would leave him at left guard, and I wouldn't right. press the. I feel like if you don't address it in free agency, you're not right. pressed because you got options. Terrence Steele will be coming back. I mean, off of ACL, but he'll be coming back next year. So right. you're basically running back the same line. So I mean, I feel like that's an option if you don't address it. But other than that, I mean, you could draft a left guard and then. Tyron Smith, your swing tackle, but I don't know if his pride will let him. <laughs> I don't You're know right. if his pride will let him do that. <laughs> right. I mean, but I mean, at some point, you just got to tell people it's like, look, uh, and, and and the NFL is really good at doing this. Either you do this or we got to let you go. And I That's feel like it. the Cowboys are at that point with them because they can just say, hey, man, you, you I mean, you miss minimum four games every year for the last five, six years. We can't pay you this. We got another guy in here that did pretty well as a left he tackle did last good. year. He did well. I mean, for for all the stuff that they talked about, Tyler Smith, oh, he's going to lead the league in holding. And he had a share, fair share of holding penalties, but I thought he was pretty good last year, man. The, the first, like week one versus the Bucks was rough. I mean, Shaq Barrett. Correct. That's, t- that's a tough out for a rookie. But right. like after like week four or five, like we were rolling. Like yeah, we were rolling, and he was pancaking folks. <laughs> yes, yes. So, like, so I mean, I think we got a good one for sure. I think that's where you they got to address the offensive line, and they got to address two other positions. Obviously, the cornerback position. Uh, uh, you know, opposite digs. They got to address that because, I mean, they got abused. They got abused. I it mean, was, one uh, injury literally set them back to just being destroyed in the secondary last year. It was terrible. Man, it was a turnstile on that left side. So once, yeah, I mean, Anthony Brown, he's all right. He's nothing special. He's all right. He's, he's just all right. All right. Yeah, That's right. he's all right. Like he'll have a couple good plays, and then you'll look up and he'll get a stupid holding penalty, and it's like, come on, dude. But he's all right. Um, but once he went down, and then what was it, week nine or so, our slot mm-hmm. corner Jordan Lewis went down, and it was mm-hmm. all down. You notice people weren't trying digs; they were all going nope. to the other side of the field. You have yes. no reason to keep throwing it at Diggs, to be honest. Zero reason. <laughs> and there was no resistance. They couldn't do anything about it. It was terrible. Now, on the same token, Deron Bland was pretty good. Um, he was our he was our yeah. slot corner. Like he's a 26. He was re- he was really good. He had like six picks last year. Right. So uh he was pretty good, but I would rather move him back to the slot and address corner right. really early in the draft, which is looking like it's pretty deep at corner this year. So hopefully they right. address that sooner than later. And gotcha. definitely receiver for sure, for sure. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, if you hear anything in the background, it's the tornado sirens going off. So, oh gosh, uh, Take it yeah, easy. it's crazy, crazy over here today. <laughs> um, having said that, let's move on. They also got to address, I think, the middle linebacker position. I mean, there's Leighton a free agent Van out Resch? there. Yeah, I mean, are they going to sign him back? Are they going to bring in Bobby Wagner? I mean, people keep talking about Bobby Wagner's falling off. He's 32. He's he was balling, rated the man. top middle linebacker in the I league say, last year. I mean, he's not falling, falling last off. year. Falling <laughs> where? Yes. I'm I like, mean, that's not falling off just because the Rams sucked doesn't I, mean that he sucked. I think people look at like that go and look at the age and just assume the guy's not good. I was like, are you watching games? Like the dude's Correct. averaging. 10, 12 tackles a game. Like, what are you Absolutely. falling off where? Yeah, um, but not falling off. I, I'm not sure what late with the Cowboys. Like they're, they don't like to spin big. 
they've never been like huge spenders. I think after a few years of that, and they got bit. So, but I'm interested to see what Van Der Esch's uh, market is. But it sucks because he had a really good year last year. Yeah, he did. And now he's a free agent. It's like, damn, man. <laughs> and they can't, you know, they can't franchise everybody. Yeah. I mean, they're going to franchise Pollard. You can't franchise uh, Van Der Esch as well as Schultz, Dalton Schultz. You can't franchise him again either. I feel like we just. I think they need ends. to just bring him back though. I don't know. Um, I like the I like the rookie they had last year. He just didn't get a ton of touches. Jake Ferguson, eighty number eighty seven. I, I he like did Tim. not. You're right. I, I like Tim. Um, he's not really great at blocking yet. No. Hopefully he could get. <laughs> hopefully he could get a little bit better in that area. But, but is uh, Schultz great at blocking? No. No. He was awful they, his first couple of years. The, exactly. Like, so I mean, I don't know. I think you bring Schultz back if you can get him on a good deal. I don't think – I mean, if he's trying to break the bank, then you can just let him go break it somewhere else. Yeah, he's going to go to Washington, and they're going to pay him like $14 million, so have at it, bud. <laughs> yeah, have <laughs> at good. it. Have at it. I'm good. Um, so they got they got some pieces to fill. I feel like the Cowboys' defense uh, was good last year in spurts. Obviously, we talked about what happened at the cornerback position. Right. But the pass rush, the pass rush was good until it needed to be good. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was good until they needed you to make plays, and then they didn't make them. Man, we couldn't get nothing going versus – I swear they were good, I would say, about round about 11 weeks into the season. And then after that, we couldn't get nothing going. We couldn't get no consistent pass rush. Correct. Like, I I don't know what happened with that. I don't know if it was just what Dan Quinn was calling or people were just dead legs. I do think a lot of it was Micah was playing with something. Like they never right. really said what, but you can Correct. just tell like he was on a he was on like a, a Hall of Fame tear like the first quarter Absolutely. of the season, and then all of a sudden, I think he had what like two sacks and like six five games, something crazy. Like yeah, cool. yeah, I don't know what that was about, but um, I wouldn't be Let mad me... if we addressed uh pass rush in the off season too. No, you can never have enough pass rushers. You literally can't. Absolutely. Let me ask you this: This is kind of more of a philosophical question. Um, and and scheme question do you think on defense to take advantage of everything that Micah Parsons can bring you do you think they need to change to a 3-4 defense I know that's not Dan Quinn's thing but Uh, if you get him on the outside as an outside linebacker still have him rush I just think I don't think they're taking advantage of everything that he can do playing the middle you know he plays the wheel linebacker which is inside I would say no because we don't have the pieces. The personnel, right now. yeah, we don't yeah. have the pieces to do that. I mean, because Javon Curse can't play on the line, no, like, up you're there right. Consistently, there's times he does. I mean, there's times they roll uh, Donovan Wilson, uh, another free agent. Correct. <laughs> they roll Donovan Wilson up. He kind of plays that like you know wheel linebacker kind of role, and they take Van Der Esch off when it's like third and long. Mm-hmm. Um, but um, yeah, I don't. I just don't it like makes that it they tough. play. Yeah, it, I, I do hate that they play him on the edge so much because I think this was his first year playing primarily edge rusher, and he right. wore down at the end of the season. He so that's literally why. wore down. He's he not. He's two fifty something. Like he's going well, against three hundred and ten pound linemen. You can't do that. What people don't understand is at the middle linebacker position. Yeah, you're running around. You're running side, and you're making plays. I go, but you're in there. You know, making plays because every play isn't at you. Right. When you're a defensive lineman or a defensive end, they rotate you. Right. They rotate you in and out with guys. And if you're going to have reason. him playing, exactly, have him playing 65% of the snaps at, at end position, he's got to come out of the game, and it might not be the opportune time to have him out of the game. That's the only reason I say 3-4. You know, but you're right. They do not have the personnel to be able to do that. And it takes a minute to get to that. And that's why I say I wouldn't be terribly upset if we address adding another pass rusher. I don't think they Correct. do it in free agency, but probably via the draft. Um, yes. In that way. Cause besides him, I mean, DeMarcus Lawrence is older. Yep. Uh, Sam Williams, he's young, but uh, what's his name? Dorrance Armstrong. He's on his last yep. year. So it's like, we have besides Sam Williams and Micah, we have nothing. Correct. Covered. So I would Correct. probably address it probably sooner than later before you absolutely. Have to. And again, you can never have enough pass rushers. You just I, it's impossible to have too many. I was hoping Nolan Smith would be there, but he just ran a four three nine, so that ain't happening. Yes, he did. Comp- <laughs> yes, he did. <laughs> he just ran a four three nine. I was quietly hoping. I was like, man, nobody's really talking about him. Maybe he'll slip. 
Nah. I was like, Dan Quinn would do numbers with that man. And then Absolutely. I saw him. he jumped the he had a forty one point five inch vertical and ran a four three nine official. I was like, oh yeah, that's a wrap. Of course he'll probably go And to the he's Eagles. a good football player. I think the Eagles got like a top I think I know they're ahead of us, but right. um it, he'll probably be an Eagle and that'll be their fifth like Pro Bowl line lineman that they got. It'll be awful. Right. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, Eagles keep getting rich, man. They got that that rookie uh, contract on the quarterback, man. They can pay people. <laughs> That's they got the an difference. opportunity. They can still pay people. You got to so, win in that window, man. You got to win in that window with when you know when your quarterback's on a small contract. You well, win. and here's another thing, and I know this is backtracking, going back to Dak and stuff yeah. like that, and, and and it's not just a Cowboys problem either. I'm trying to figure out why more teams or more quarterbacks won't take a deal like Patrick Mahomes. Patrick Mahomes got paid, but his deal is a team friendly deal to where I can get a ton of money, but also I can still have enough to pay people so we can continue to be good. I'm just trying to figure out why more guys won't won't do, do that, that. That or the Tom Brady approach. <laughs> yeah. You know, and it's like, yeah, people say, well, Tom Brady's wife was rich and all that stuff, which is true. Very but true. <laughs> I, I'm just saying Especially for, and I know what they talk about with Tom Brady. Well, he gets all this endorsement money in the hundred percent. So correct. does Dak. I was just going to say <laughs> Dak Prescott gets more endorsement deals other than Patrick Mahomes or maybe Aaron Rodgers than any other player I say, in the he, National I've Football League. I want to say he's got somewhere in the neighborhood of fourteen endorsements. So yeah, he can live off that. He's good. He can um, live off of that. So I sure. don't know. I just it, it hurts the Cowboys in this situation because. They can't pay enough people to be good. And there's there's money to be spread around and it's not getting spread around. And what also sucks is, I mean, it's good for the organization. They actually draft overall. They draft really well. So now when it comes to free agency after those four years, you got to pay guys. So they typically will pay their own before they go out free agency and splash and all that. So that's the only issue, because like I said, all the guys that are due for uh, contracts, they were all drafted. Right. (laughs) Absolutely. It's crazy, man. So lastly, obviously, let's talk about Jerry Jones. Oh, that I mean, he's in the way. Let's just get that out of the out of the way. He he's <laughs> he's yeah. in the way. They won't I, here's the thing is they got a basically a general manager in Will McClay. I mean, he dude, does everything incredible. incredible. That is incredible. And his patience also has to be incredible because He doesn't always do, they don't always do the things that he's recommending, but he's put together a pretty good roster. But if Jerry just stepped aside and let him run it or anybody, somebody else run it, I think the Cowboys could win it in three to five years. Let me ask you this question, because a lot of people say the same thing is if the Cowboys aren't going to win, and this is a horrible thing to say until Jerry Jones is gone, but when's he ever going to be gone? Is it until he passes away? He's going to be bionic, man. He's going to come back. He's going to haunt us forever. Um, Honestly, I I don't – it's a twofold. So people will say it's Jerry, but at the same time, Jerry ain't throwing picks. No. Jerry ain't missing blocks. Jerry ain't missing assignments. So, like – He's not. You can't blame it on him. But at the same time, I will say that I think I do hate about Jerry. It's like he'll wait till – the team's window is closed and he's like, Oh, I wish I would have got Romo a Super Bowl. And he's probably Absolutely. gonna end up doing the same thing with that. Like right now, they're roster wise, like they're one of the more talented teams in the league. And like I feel like we say that all the time. We as a media, we say that all Absolutely. the time. Absolutely. So it's like, okay, but they never do that one or two other things that that put them over the hump. See, the Eagles, they keep doing that. They blew that whole team up from the Super Bowl a couple years ago, and they're yep. back in it five years later. Yep. <laughs> what like, I don't, don't under- do that. I don't understand why not. They don't attack free agency like other teams attack free agency. And I don't get it. It's like they have the opportunity. They have, I mean, they everybody always has the money. You can right. get find the money wherever you want to find it. You and know, I'm, all this you and know, of the talk- Rams and other Rams. I'm of the Rams now. Like F through the picks. picks. Yes, the picks. buddy. Because, and here's the thing, the Rams are paying the price for it this year. They paid for it last year. They're going to pay for it again this year. And then the following year, they'll be able to rebuild because their offensive line is horrible. And they can't win without offensive line. But you know what? They won a Super Bowl. 
And I don't think I'll anybody <laughs> that's a Rams fan cares that they stunk last year or are going to stink again this year because they won a Super Bowl. Absolutely. And I know as a Cowboys fan, you and the rest of Cowboys Nation, you might be upset that you stink, but if you won a Super Bowl for the last for the first time in 26 years, yeah, you wouldn't I'll care. Take it. I wouldn't you just want to win. We could stink for five years after that. Give me one for hypothetically go all in next year we win it i don't care i'll stink for five years it's fine yes. i'll take it <laughs> i mean it's the cowboys that's the thing about it you shouldn't be able to sit here and say oh man the cowboys haven't even been in the the nfc championship game in 30 years well we're coming up on 30 years pretty soon man some things got to change right got to change because the philosophy clearly isn't working they they and it's like the, the frustrating part as a fan is like I don't feel like every team is close to winning it, but I feel like this team has a lot of the pieces. You got a corner, you got a quarterback, you got a Tony Pollard who could get you mm -hmm. there. I mean, you got a good backfield. You got a pretty good old line, pretty good D line. It's like, okay, go get you a corner. Go, go give the Rams pick 26 and a day two and go get Jalen Ramsey. Correct. Go give, go give the, go give the Cardinals pick 58. What was it? That's our second Correct. round. Pick. 58 and go give them a day two and go get D hop. Yes. It's only seven. You didn't want to pay Cooper 20 million. Cool. What's uh D hop. What? 15, 17 million. All right, go mm -hmm. pay him. Mm -hmm. He could get you over the hump. Like those little moves right there. Like those it's are the those... things that they don't do. And, and I don't know why more teams don't look at it like the Rams. And just like you said, because the Rams philosophy, we say screw those picks. But what the Rams said was, I would rather have a proven player, not just players. They've got superstars. Yes. Proven Love superstars. Love and we'll it. give you two or three picks. We want to win right now. Right this That's very second. That Super Bowl team was loaded. They were loaded. The front. Their Absolutely front was loaded. so disgusting. Yes. Absolutely loaded. Everywhere. Same and thing with the what? Eagles. They won. That's why Same they led, the, they the, led the league. They led the league in sacks, but they That's were right. the second all time in sacks. That is insane. Yes. Just dominated. I just, the Cowboys philosophy, I think is what's, what's the problem. And I think that's what a lot of fans are so frustrated with Jerry is like, man, you've been doing the same thing for 26 years. It did. It's not working. Do something different. And he, he won't. Go after it, man. Like, you got a team that's right there. Like, I mean, Dak played horrible in the playoff game. We should have beat the Niners flat right. out. Um, I'm not going to say we would have beat the Eagles, but it would have been a good battle because, like, we play them twice a year. So it's like, you know, their tendencies, right. you know, that kind of thing. So um, you just got to go, ask in, you this. go all in. I don't, I don't mean to interrupt you, but let yeah, me but ask you, do they beat the Cowboys if Amari – or not the Cowboys. Do they beat uh, the 49ers if Amari Cooper's on the team? Because my quest answer to that is yes. absolutely – they weren't scared. Of, the, the Niners weren't scared of anybody that didn't have an 88 on their jersey. Yeah, absolutely. They were sitting I said on it. everything else. I <laughs> said it. I go, it. as bad as Dak played, and he played bad, if Amari Cooper is on that football team, we win that game. they beat the San Francisco 49ers. They, they just do because there was nobody else to throw the ball to, especially after Pollard got hurt. Oh, Pollard yeah, was got good. hurt at the end of the second quarter. Once he got hurt, My heart there was CeeDee Lamb, and that's it. My heart and, sunk, man. When I seen him didn't get, didn't get up. I was like, oh. Then I saw yeah. him getting carted off with the boot. I was like, yeah, he broke his foot. Correct. It was, it was like, bad. It was bad. I hate to see well, it. Well, man, I appreciate you jumping on with this. Let me just end it with this. Next year, is it the Cowboys? Is it their year? I can answer that after free agency and after the uh, after the draft. <gasps> Finally, <laughs> an intelligent Cowboys fan. See? Before I did, I, and I tried to set you up. I tried to set you up. <laughs> nah, I know where you're going. I, well, I, I, see, intelligence. Hey, man, give me the draft. Give me yeah. free agency. Let's see let what me, this team is about let, before you say me, something, man. Give me a couple weeks in camp. Let me see who's yeah, doing Yeah, there's some injuries because you know yeah. they're happening. Let's you know see gonna what happen. happens let's and let's figure it out from there. See, for I sure. can get with that. I can get with that, man. Well, I appreciate it, man. Thank you for, for jumping on. We will yeah, have yeah. you back absolutely from time to time because we need a cowboys fan and we need one that knows what he's talking about Let's so i appreciate it. it brother thank you for sure all right all right